So you got into an accident and all kinds of bad stuff followed. I'm sorry to hear that. And you're thinking, well, okay, you know, the other person's insurance is gonna cover all my losses. They're gonna take care of everything. Well, nah, they're not necessarily. You know, there are so many things that go into the makeup of the total package of compensation for an injury claim. Let me just list a few for you. The easy ones, the medical bills and the lost wages. Okay, you had $3,200 in medical bills, you give them to the insurance, they should pay $3,200. Let me just stop there for a minute. They're going to question that and they're going to only going to offer you, you know, $1,900 and claim that the doctor overcharged you. So they're not necessarily covering that. So the medical bills, I remember it being the case where Paul explained to me, you know, this is a pending law case, this is what we're doing. So um, I have partnerships in the region that I have a good repertoire with. Um, you know, they know that they send the bills directly to me um, and then they will be paid upon the closing of the law case. You know, that was so relaxing to me because it was, I think after one and a half weeks I started being scared and I called him and I was like, are you sure these are going to be covered, you know? Um, because it was like, you know, visit ambulance visits, like all of these crazy things. And I, even with USAA, I was glad that I was able to, um, you know, seek that treatment and not pay out of pocket. It probably would have been 30, 40 K. Lost wages. You make $100 a day, you miss five days, that's $500. The insurance company is going to argue with that. They're going to say, you didn't need to take off all that time from work. We only think you needed to take off two days. Suffering, pain, inconvenience, aggravation, disruption of your life. Those are some things that we know the insurance companies are going to submarine and make short shrift of. They're not going to acknowledge how badly you were hurt and its consequences. Um, I had never been in a state of shock before. Sometimes when your body gets injured badly, so badly, it just kind of like you get this huge rush of adrenaline, you're feeling fine, and this is very common with concussion patients, is that they'll be like, no, I'm completely fine, and then, you know, it'll be two to three weeks later, and they're noticing that, you know, when you hit your head that hard, your emotions are kind of out of whack, your equilibrium in your head is off, your balance is off, you're forgetting a lot of stuff that you normally were, I was like very fast with, and it, it, it's, it affected my job in a way that, um, you know, and after that, having slipped on the stairs because of this and smacking my head, which made me have a grand mal seizure, um, there are little things, I never knew it would develop into this larger problem. Let's suppose, heaven forbid, you got a big bad scar on your face. Do you think they're gonna give you money for your embarrassment and for the change of your beautiful face permanently for the rest of your life? Let's suppose you had knee surgery and now you can't play soccer anymore or you can't coach your, your child's uh, basketball league that you were the coach of and it took away something that was valuable to you. Do you think the insurance company is gonna pay you for that? Well, with an attorney, every single thing that you tell the attorney will be documented and proven so they're gonna to have to look at it, but a good attorney is gonna ask you questions about things that you never even thought about. Women, right? You have an injury to your shoulder and you can't wash your hair the way you used to or fix your hair in the back or you can't put on your undergarments the way you used to. He's not selling. Paul is not selling. He's saying, I'm here to help you. I'm gonna help you to get what you deserve. There's just so many little things that you never think about so you think to yourself, you're gonna be fully compensated? With no disrespect, my friend, my guess is that just sitting there right now, you wouldn't even know what the list of things is to be compensated for, but an attorney will. I hope you never get hurt, but if you do, you wanna call an attorney. You've been injured in a car accident. What do you do now? Think about it. There's you, the other driver, their insurance company, and that insurance company's team of lawyers. You cannot represent yourself and expect to win. Paul Samico is a personal injury lawyer, and he wrote the book on what you must know about your case before you hire a lawyer, and you must hire a lawyer to represent you. Before you do, 
Get eight critical things your auto accident attorney won't tell you why and how to prepare so you get the best when you need it most. The first steps that you take are the most critical and will have the biggest impact on how you're treated, cared for, recover, and are compensated for your loss and suffering. This short book will lay out the facts that you must know before seeking representation. There is no legal jargon here, just easy to understand, straightforward language from a lawyer who has represented thousands of injured people just like you, against huge insurance companies and won. I don't win every case. If you go to a lawyer and that lawyer says he wins every case, he's a liar, she's a liar, say thank you and leave. Doesn't happen. Lawyers lose cases, and it's not always the lawyer's fault. But an overwhelming majority of the cases, I do very well for my clients and I get them more. To download your free copy immediately, scan the QR code with the camera app on your smart device.